If you like my videos, please click on the like button and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe for the new videos. So, our next topic is solid waste management. Solid waste includes, generally solid waste are the materials which we are throwing from our domestic uses. It includes trash, garbages, metal scraps, etc. which arises from the daily human activities and which is normally discarded as useless or unwanted material. So, it is going at, to the, towards the land pollution in urban as well as industrial areas. There are three terms. One is garbage, rubbish and refuse in case of solid waste management. So garbage may refer to the any material, any solid waste which may contains organic matter or contains the biodegradable or decomposable materials. And what about rubbish? Rubbish is the material, solid material, solid waste material which may include all the non-biodegradable material or non-compostable -com materials. So, for example, like wood, rubber, then plastic, then leather, paper, etc. And refuse means, it means all, whatever we have refused to use. So, it includes both decomposing as well as not, not decomposing material. So, it will include both of them, like garbage as well as rubbish. So what is solid waste management? It is the management of the daily waste, daily solid waste discarded from the human beings or anybody who is uh, not using any of these things. And this includes mainly three steps. One is collection, second is transportation and third is disposal. So in terms of collection, first of all the ways of collections, there are many ways of collection, collecting solid waste. First is the use of large number of dust bins. We must implant, implant a large number of dust bins all across the city. And then there are some of the door to door collection facilities are also available. And then finally there are some rag pickers who generally collect the usable material from the, from the dumping grounds and everywhere. What about transportation? For transportation, we need highly equipped trucks for the transportation. Then there are many uh, workers who work on these things. But it is important for the safety of the workers that they should use the hand gloves as well as the mask because it is a hazardous way of, use, of doing the work. And finally, the disposal. There are several ways of disposing this solid waste management, solid waste and one of them is open dumping. Open dumping means if you find some open place you can dump it, dump it over there. So that is called as the open dumping which is not really good for the society. Then second comes with the landfill. Landfill are the areas which are given by the government and where all the garbage from the, from the city is dumped across there. So that is landfill. And the third one is the ocean dumping. Ocean dumping means generally we pack the materials, pack the solid waste in a proper way and dump it into the ocean, which is also not good because it affects the aquatic life. There are many more ways of uh, reducing the solid waste. So one of them is incineration. Incineration means we can burn the solid waste and then we can produce energy or heat out of that. But it also produces the uh, carbon dioxide as a pollutant over there. Next is composting. Composting means all the biodegradable materials can be converted into compost which can be used as a fertilizers in agriculture and anywhere. And the last one is reduction at source. Reduction at source that means we should reduce the making of solid waste. So it should not be generated too much. We should not generate too much of the solid waste. Next is 5 R of the solid waste management. And these are refuse, reduce, reuse, repair and recycle. So first of all we need to refuse the uses of non biodegradable materials. Then if it is necessary we must reduce the uses and if and if there is still some uses then we um, we must go for the reusing same thing again and again and once it is broken we can go for the repair and when it is of no use then we can go for the recycling so there are five hours of solid waste management so at the end role of an individual that one person what a one person can do what can i do for the solid waste management so there are many more ways first go for the more plantation secondly 
use good quality of fuels for the automobiles then reduce the use of automobiles minimize the use of pesticides insecticides or fertilizers in agriculture use of water in proper and judicious manner then save electricity by using more natural renewable energy then use less non biodegradable material so these are some of the ways by which we can help in preventing the soil pollution there are many more ways which we can also include here so which is available and that's all thank you for more study materials like learning materials like mcqs like other question answers and problems related to your coursework please visit admirals.tk